In this episode of DU Nation, we're squirrel hunting on both public and private land in Illinois with Joe Genzel. He's been hunting this area for his whole life, and he's one of the few people who hunt squirrels here using a rare dog breed called a Laika. It's an old breed from Siberia that was developed strictly for hunting purposes. It was often used to hunt animals that live in trees, so it naturally looks up for its prey and will bark and signal the tree where prey is hiding. It will also continue to follow even if the squirrel jumps from tree to tree. to get a, a squirrel dog uh, because I wanted to be able to bring up my son, you know, hunting squirrels kind of similar to the, the way I grew up. So I actually found Laika's when I was an editor at Outdoor Life, just editing stories. I started reading more uh, and more about Laika's and how versatile they are. You know, he was able to, you know, flush rabbits. We treat tree squirrels. Uh, he flushed pheasants today. So. Um, and and he, he's able to, uh, to, to track deer and just kind of hunt basically anything that, that you want to hunt. Lycas can, can do that, uh, maybe with the exception of, uh, of water retrieves. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> hey, I thought we were going to get skunk. That'd be my first skunk of the year, Gordo. Dude. You see that reaction time, Gordo? See that? That was incredible, Joe. That's, that's, that's what you should have been. That's what I'm sure is what you were like back in your football days, man. Just like, why are you not a pro? I have no idea. We followed Vlad through the woods at a quick pace, and there wasn't too much we needed to do as far as controlling him. He naturally started searching and finding prey. So it's a pretty ancient breed from West Siberia and Russia. Indigenous peoples use them to hunt and track uh, wild boar, uh, moose, and bears. Uh, and so the breed remains uh, fa fairly primal because the, the, those indigenous peoples would not not feed their lycas. They basically lived like like wolves. Um, they they had no dog house to go into or any, anything like that. And the, and the strongest lycas uh, survived and, and hunted. Um, and so yeah, that, that that's uh, and that's one one of the reasons there's very little training uh, involved with them. You basically you know teach them teach them basic obedience, and then you just put them in the environments that you want to hunt, and they basically learn how to do it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I tried to get him going around the side of the tree and he got behind it. <laughs> Turn you in the, into a panic when they run right at you. Hey, you I'm not going to litter you right there. <laughs> We ultimately ended up with a mixed bag of some pretty big squirrels and a new appreciation for this rare dog breed. 